Boston Bruins. Gilles Gilbert, 2.75 goals against average. And once again, for the fourth game in a row, going for his fourth straight win or fifth straight win is John Davidson, 3.27 goals against average. Slowly but surely bringing it down. To Jim, it looks like Fred Shiro is prepping definitely for the playoff. Plan Davidson. He indicated that at the uh, advertising luncheon in New York a couple of weeks ago that it was time to really begin bearing down. The team obviously got the message. And tonight, of course, Boston will be trying to spoil things a bit. They did not like their own performance at Boston Garden. This is a tough team. Boston's been playing very, very good hockey. And Milbury has the puck and sends it down the left-hand side. Jimmy Bothwell, number six, back for it for the Rangers. Marois lost to Jonathan. Jonathan in the corner, pinned by Marois. Duguay is there. Rangers starting off with a different line tonight. Duguay with Murdoch. Duguay the center, and Eddie Johnstone on the wing. Eddie Johnstone's on the wing. He's playing the left side to counteract the right wing of the Boston Bruins. The scoring Rick Middleton. There's Eddie Johnstone. He's out there to check Rick. Face off to the right side of Big John Davidson. And it's happy birthday for Eddie Johnston today. Shot is a save by Davidson from Milbury. Jonathan in front. Save. Jonathan with a soft backhander almost bought a goal. Duguay. He's in. Penalty. There is a break in the action with the score. Rangers nothing and Boston nothing. Bobby. 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 The penalty is given as a tribute. The game is 26 seconds old, and Duguay tries to go through the middle, and Brad McKinnon pulls him down. The Rangers will have a power play. They have scored 63 and 233 times for a 27% average. After the faceoff, Greshner over to Barry Beck. Back to Greshner. Shot on goal goes wide. In front, and he's good. It's in. It's under him. Dean Talibus comes up with the score. It is 1-0 Rangers. It's the... Tenth power play goal for the Rangers in the last three games. Jill Bear thought he had it stopped, and so did I. Dean Talibus has just scored his 200th National Hockey League point. There's Barry Beck to Greshna. The shot by Greshna. The save on the backboard. It comes out front, and Talibus, not quitting on the play, puts it under Jill Bear, who could not grab it. He thought he had it. Tim, a phenomenal record lately for the Rangers on power plays. That's the 10th power play goal in the last three games, including this one. On assist number four, Ron Greshner, and number three, Barry Beck. There it is, Greshner and Beck on the assist. Seconds. At 44, 44 seconds of the first period, Dean Talibus gets the goal. Face off, goes back into the Rangers' end. Rangers had the puck in their own end, leading by one goal. O'Reilly goes out to throw some weight around. He was ignored by Dave Maloney. Here's a pass to Hedberg. It's a two-line pass. So O'Reilly looks like he's about ready to set the pace for this game. O'Reilly on his first turn out on the ice take, uh, took a little bit of a run at Dave Maloney. There's Fred Creighton, the Boston coach. Boston penalty killing is just about the best in the National Hockey League. They've killed off all but 14%, but in the last two games, it's three power play goals against them by the Rangers. Telling you that power play is awesome with Greshner and Beck back there. Free puck, Rangers end. Davidson clears to his right wing. Free puck goes in deeper. That's O'Reilly after Greshner. Beck goes after the puck. Steve Vickers pinned in the corner. Beck joins the action and a frozen puck and whistle there. This is a different hockey club. The Rangers have since Barry Beck come back off the injury. They're playing with confidence. 
18 minutes and 24 seconds to go. Period number one, one nothing Rangers. There's O'Reilly, one of the best. Peter McNabb will be facing off for the Boston Bruins. Rangers have Kachuk out there. Speaking about one of the very best. Water in the faceoff circle. Free puck goes wide. Rangers have it. This is Hedberg. Two on two with Kachuk on his left side. And Hedberg lost his edge going in and then the puck. Ray Bork, number seven. Vickers for checking on Ray. There's McNabb helping him out. Bork sees an opening and starts down the left side. Vickers stays on him. Forces a pass to the left-hand side and the puck is sent in. Al Secord up on left wing for the Rangers Vickers soft pass intercepted a giveaway by Steve and it was a, just across the line though so the Rangers were able to salvage an offside in their favor Steve Vickers wife gave birth to a baby boy and Steve missed the last two games that the Rangers won one against Los Angeles and one against Boston given your choice would you rather play left wing or change diapers Bill really <laughs> he's back Don Maloney on left wing for the Rangers. Dave Maloney across. Carol Vadney. Esposito's got it under control. Two men with him. Shot wide as Gilbert. Rebound is kicked wide by Gilbert into the left corner. And the Bruins start out. Espo had Talavis all alone on the left side. Rangers had the puck. Dave Maloney lost it. Giveaway, but it's an offside call. Again, an offside saves the Rangers. It was a slow whistle called by the linesman Gap in yellow. There's Dean Talifus. He's just acquired his 200th National Hockey League point. And for this year, his sixth goal. Dwight Forster is the right wing. Bob Miller, 14 in the center, and uh, Lalonde, Bobby Lalonde, number 19, is left wing on this line for Boston. Rangers have the Espo line out. This is Miller in front. Could be a shot by Smith. In front, deflected by Lalonde. He could not get a clean shot. It's back to center zone. There will be no icing. Smith. Gary Doak takes a hit from Don Maloney. Dwight Foster. At Lalonde. Lost to Badney's check. Dave Maloney to Don Maloney. Hard check on Don Maloney. Rangers pinned in here a little bit. Playing very deliberately. Esposito. Looking for Talibus. Bill still behind the red line, had a hold up. Now finds the wing. Dave Maloney in wing position. Right back out to Dave. Rangers are back out, and Badney turns one in. Vickers goes into the corner. The puck comes back out into center zone and skips to the Ranger line. Tim Bothwell. Rangers on a change. Dugay takes the puck. Dugay goes in. Jim Mayer's the right wing. The shot's high off the glass just behind Mayer. There's Mayer going into the corner. Jonathan is there first. So Dugay taking double shift. The Rangers again playing with 11 forwards and six defensemen. That's Mayer on Middleton. Good checker, Mayer is. Shot blocked away. Rangers forced the error by Boston by that checking. Jim Mayer and Doug Sullivan. One of the Rangers. First goal came in a power play goal, 44 seconds into the period. Bothwell. Duguay was offside. Jonathan and Duguay. Just dirty looks. That Jonathan built like a fire plug, and he can go when he gets started. He's a tough cookie. Take a look at him. He doesn't have much to lose. That was Bill Chadwick who said that. All the members of the Jonathan fan club. He's 5'8 and 175 pounds. 15, 46 to go. Period number one. Former coach of his, Don Cherry, called him the Bulldog. Milbury. Bothwell coming across. Free puck, Rangers end and clear. Dugay two on one. Mayer takes the pass. Mayer shot wide. Dugay after passing off could not break. It became a one on one. Center zone. Sullivan turns it back in. Rangers going for a change. Good Look work that. by that line. Look at that. Mayer come back. Keep skating like that. He'd be around here a long time. 
There's an icing call, however, as the Rangers went for the change. 15-19 to go, period number one. Face off back in the Rangers' zone to the left of John Davidson, who is starting his fourth game in a row in goal for the New York Rangers. That's a first for this season for a Ranger goaltender. Peter McNabb facing off for Boston against Walter Kachuk. Kachuk gets it back through Beck. Taken away by McNabb and lost again. Free puck corner, everybody after it. Beck's got it. That's Ray Bork, number seven. Bodied by Hedberg. Gresham has the puck as he calls it up, just behind Beck's reach. Man goes down as Beck hits him. And a frozen puck in the Rangers' end. There's Barry Beck. Once again, McNabb facing off of Boston. Back to the right side. Redmond's shot is high. Davidson holds it just long enough to get Beck back there. Gresham turns around behind the net. O'Reilly in the corner. Vickers on O'Reilly. Free puck in the Rangers' end. They're trying to get it back to Redmond. They do. Here's a screenshot. Redmond knocked away by Kachuk. Good stick check. Davidson out of his net very confidently. Finds Greshner. Greshner lost it. Picks it up again on his backhand. Good forechecking checking by O'Reilly and company. Kept in by Secord. Poked away. That was Hedberg knocking it free. Kachuk's got it. Vickers trying to sneak in left side. Takes the pass. Centering pass. Hedberg. Score! Kachuk setting up Hedberg. And for Hedberg, that's goal number 30. It is 2 0 New York. There's the hustle by Hedberg. And Kachuk picks up the loose puck. He finds Vickers on the left hand side, and Vickers just holds off enough to stay on side. Kachuk is up front, but Hedberg's a trailer. Two nothing. And the puck's back to Boston's end. Gilles Bear out of his cage. Fires off the left board. Just eludes Esposito. That he's got it. Eddie Johnstone sends it deep. Free puck comes back out to center zone. This is Dwight Foster. Foster forced back to center zone. Esposito's got the puck. Espo sends one in. This is Rick Smith back for it. And back to center zone again. Boston missing a bunch of pretty fair country hockey players at this stage of the game. Mark Cott, Cashman, Brad Park, and Jean Rattel. Every club in the National Hockey League goes through something like that. The Rangers still have Old Thielson out. They might have him back on Wednesday. 13 minutes and 20 seconds to go. Period number one. Rangers leading 2 nothing. Bad day. And lifts it high. Brad McCrimmon up on left side. Here comes Smith. Mayer back for it. Jim hustles up to Sullivan. Dougie back to Jim. He's in deep and goes down. No penalty. Free puck. Boston's in. Rangers on a change. Dugay tried to keep it in and could not. Two Rangers were trapped. There's an offside. Break in the action. Score. Rangers two and Bruins nothing. Greg McTavish. Tavish wins the draw. At the red line, Boston breaking in. Middleton coming in hard on right wing. Davidson plays the corner. And Sullivan turns up the puck. Mayer has possession and sends one in. Rangers two, Boston nothing. First period, Rangers playing well. Good deliberate pattern hockey shot. Stopped in front, Dugay almost steered it in. Middleton sends one to center zone. Jonathan has it there, overskates it, sends it in deeper. This is Bothwell. Play in the Rangers' end. It is loose. Sullivan trying to get it under control, having trouble. Well, Jonathan's got it. Jonathan is behind the net. Fell down as he tried to scoop it in front. Bothwell playing without a stick. And they get it loose. Bothwell trying to pin his man and does. Here comes Sullivan. Dugay hit from behind by Middleton's check. 
Two nothing Rangers. Duguay's playing like an inspired hockey club. Rangers going for a change as Bothwell sends it in. Total change up front and behind as well. Middle and reach for it at the red line. Could not get to it. There'll be no icing call. Beck gets it. Beck in front of Secord. Here comes Barry with the rush. Gets around a check by O'Reilly. There you see the respect for the size of Beck. That's the kind of a check that O'Reilly ordinarily would have planted his feet and nailed the man coming down. This time he sort of just waved at him going by. Jim, the only thing not going for Beck when he comes down is a whistle. <laughs> Sound like a big train. Huh. Big man. Greshner. And he's making him a better hockey player if that's possible. Greshner? Yep. Yes, sir. 11 16 to go. Period one. Rangers leading by two. Beck stays in. Lays you saw the puck. an example of it there, Jim. Greshner's allowed to take chances with Big Barry back there. Vickers looking to center one. He does, but it's just a kachuk on the wing, not deep out. Now he's got a shot. Water being held gets away. Couldn't get the shot away. Secord into center zone. McNabb couldn't handle it. Atop O'Reilly's stick. Bork to O'Reilly. Secord. And to the Rangers end. Davidson plays it to the right turn. Secord in deep. Takes from Hedberg who steals it. Vickers. Nice drop pass to Beck. Good pass by Steve. Beck puts on a change of pace but lost it going in on a fine stick check by Redmond. Boston in his own end and Ray Bork starts out. In center zone to McNabb. Looking for Secord deep. Only one Ranger is in deep. It's Kachuk. He has to stay in front. to pass back goes awry and back to center zone. And Peter McNabb was on the right hand side all alone. Ten minutes to go in uh, period number one. Halfway through. Redmond. In deep, number 14, Bob Miller. Rangers have the puck. Talibus, he's got one of the two goals. Bothwell to Maloney to Bothwell. Double teamed and lost. Miller spun around, pulled down. Penalty, Dave Maloney is gone. Breaking the action. Score, Rangers two and Boston nothing. to be the first power play for the Boston Bruins. It was a result of Carol Badney given the giveaway and Maloney had no choice but to hook the stop a two on one. I called Bothwell instead of Badney. I apologize. Jim, when they're carrying the puck, they almost look alike. Besides the five and six are hard to just tell apart. Bears, bad sending one all the way down. Rangers defending against the power play for the first time. 25% they score on Boston Bruins. The Rangers kill off all but 18%. Center zone, Vadnay lifts it ahead. I'd like to mention once again tonight to add to our vast cable network, and it is vast indeed, the mar marvelous people of Sweden. Hello there. Glad to have you with us. Rick Middleton sends it ahead. Talibus chops it down and clears. Duguay comes out now, along with Don Maloney. Rick Redman. Bork, poke check. Ray's got it on the side. Bork's knocked free by Duguay. Duguay coming up with Don Maloney. Duguay's for the net. Maloney centers. Duguay saves. Perfect work by Don Maloney and Duguay, but Gilbert was there. And Duguay almost came up with his third shorthanded goal of the season. Here's Don Maloney taking it away from the Bruins. Duguay streaking down the center. Maloney lays it right out for him. A good save by Gilbert. Duguay will take the face off for the Rangers. Eddie Johnstone's on the right side. 
Barry Beck and Carol Vadney. 56 seconds left in the penalty to Dave Maloney. Free puck, Duguay couldn't get a swipe out as Milbury clears behind the net. Brad McCrimmon, 29. O'Reilly, McCrimmon, and in. Davidson gets it under control, drop for Badney, put it on the wrong side. Badney has to go back to get it, took a heavy hit because of it. O'Reilly, Beck goes for him. O'Reilly's got the puck, Badney knocks away. He's got it again, O'Reilly. Half a minute to go on the power play. Rangers in the box formation. Beck reaches out for it. Milbury across. Penalty coming up against the Rangers. Boston will have two extra skaters. Penalty hasn't been called yet. Shot. Save. Rebound. He's got it. Break in the action with the score. Rangers two and Boston nothing. As a result of a tripping penalty to Carol Badney, the Rangers will be two men short for 12 seconds. Barry Beck is out there. Greshna. And Shiro sends Wallach a chuck out. Rick Middleton still sporting one of the classiest black eyes I've seen in years. She's got another one now on the other eye. This is a oh. big face-off. Middle has got the puck. It's five on three. Bors got a shot. Save off the shaft of the stick. First penalty is over. It's five on four. Maloney's on the ice. Maloney goes for the puck and forces it back. Maloney goes to the bench. Hedberg is out there now. Middleton going into the corner with Greshner. This is McNabb. Middleton mishandled the puck. Rangers have it and should clear. They do. Kachuk putting that away above the head where nobody could knock it down. What a job he does killing off penalties. O'Reilly almost lost to Kachuk's check. O'Reilly takes it back. Terry O'Reilly on the side, and they're offside going in. And the face-off will be outside of the Rangers' zone. There's Terry O'Reilly, the captain of the Boston Bruins. He makes himself a hockey player. He's got 17 goals and 33 assists for 50 points. 173 minutes in penalty. Bruins have a pretty good road record, 15, 8, and 8. Dwight Foster's on the right side. McTavish gets it over there. Foster drops it back. This is Redmond. Redmond to Bork. Intercepted by Hedberg. Hedberg opens it up. One minute to go in the power play. Hedberg plays the boards back to center zone. Bork. And Bork sends it in. Davidson behind the net. Marwa clears. Good clearing play by Mario Marwa. <clears throat> Redmond behind his own blue line. 38 seconds to go in the power play. Foster ahead. Hey, they got a shot. Save on Jonathan. And Rangers clear off the boards. Hedberg and Kachuk go to the bench. Talifus and Dave Maloney come out. Don Maloney. McTavish across left side. Jonathan, Stan Jonathan on his backhand. Jonathan drops it back. Foster takes a hit, and they just did keep it in. Just did keep it in. Ten seconds in the power play, and Rangers clear. And by the time Boston touches the puck, the power play will be over, and it's over. Here comes Boston. Rangers have their five skaters back. Sometimes things happen. Wensink breaks in. Vadney slows him up and knocks it away. Dave Maloney covering for Vadney was still tied up with Wensink. And a frozen puck in the Rangers' hand. Final this afternoon, the Islanders and Pittsburgh skated to a nothing-nothing tie. At one point by the Islanders, ties them with the Rangers for second place, but they have played one more game than the New York Rangers. Face off on the right side. 
Shot on the screen. Save! Big save on the screen. Here's a big save on Davidson. The shot from the point. Quick reactions by J.D. 536 remains, period number one. Rangers leading by a score of 2-0. Bruins have seven shots on that. Rangers only three, but two have gone in. Heavy check on Davidson, and Wensink is gone. Wensink coming up with a high stick on Dave Maloney. Breaking the action with the score, Rangers two and Bruins nothing. Wensink in the penalty box for the Bruins. The Rangers will have another power play as a result of this elbow. Dave Maloney coming out. He looks down at the puck and he got an elbow right in the kisser. Oh. Rangers have a power play. They got one power play goal so far. Rangers have had three shots on net. They scored twice. Greshner carrying it. Tried to do it all the way and could not. And the Bruins clear. Murdoch and Beck, Greshner, Esposito, and Eddie Johnstone, the power play combination for the Rangers now. EJ. Johnstone lost it. Beck is there. Greshner. Rangers a little tentative coming in. Now Beck sends it in deep. Still there behind his net. Drew a little bit of a body check. Beck trying to keep it in. Rangers protecting on his side, and we'll get a face off inside Boston's end. There's some out of town scores this afternoon. Chicago beat Winnipeg three to two. One of our Olympic heroes got one of the two goals for Winnipeg. Christian. Colorado out in front of Washington two to nothing. Washington struggling to make the playoffs. They can't afford to be stymied. Miller and Esposito. Espo wins the draw. Beck has the puck at left point and goes deep. Drop pass for Johnstone. Pass across deflected in front. Just eludes Esposito off Murdoch's stick now. Murdoch throws his body, sends it deeper. Espo goes for the puck with Milbury. Milbury's there first. Murdoch comes in. Milbury's down. Murdoch and Esposito have the puck. Espo breaks it loose. Esposito with a man in front is Johnstone. Esposito. One minute to go in the power play. Bad pass. And the Rangers lost it. They were set up fairly well there until that miscue. That could have been costly. Greshner. Greshner deeks his way in. And still has the puck. Lost it now. Milbury turns the corner, and it eludes Greshner all the way down the ice. 35 seconds ago on the penalty. Four minutes to go in the period. Barry Beck. Bothwell to Beck. Vickers lost it. Miller did not clear. Now he should. He does. Hedberg gets to it to Greshner. 16 seconds in the power play for the Rangers. Greshner. Hedberg. Espo goes for it. Foster will get there first. Or Smith, rather. Hedberg. McNabb is with Hedberg. Penalty be over in about four seconds. Free puck. In front, Rangers have it. Hedberg. Hedberg's got Esposito in a slot. Penalty is almost over. It is over now. Wensink's out. At the goal line, Rangers have the puck. It's five on five. Shot is missed by Hedberg. Two defensemen back. Two forwards break out. O'Reilly. Knocked away by Dave Maloney. Dave Maloney. This is Vickers. Kachuk and Hedberg. Hedberg behind Secord. Kachuk's got the puck. Good pass. Dave Maloney in front. Chopped down and wide. Just missed by Vickers in front. Hedberg with the puck. Hedberg looking for talent for Kachuk, rather. And back out in the center zone to Vadney. Rangers certainly controlling this first period. 
two forty six to go in the period. Rangers still only had three shots on net. Here comes O'Reilly in a hurry. Davidson is there first. Looking for Vickers in the corner. O'Reilly with a good bump on Vickers. McNabb goes for it, but this is bad name. Rangers in trouble on the wing. It's out in front. Knocked free. Maloney gets to it. Here's O'Reilly. O'Reilly for Boston. Got a man in front of McNabb. O'Reilly tries to put it in front and stopped by the Rangers. Blocked by Maloney. Maloney takes his man down. No penalty call. Frozen puck. Well, with 2.13 to go in this first period, the Rangers out in front, two to nothing, the face off in the Ranger zone, just at the head of the circle. Duguay comes out. Duguay and Esposito doing double duty at center. This time he comes out with Sullivan and the rookie Jim Mayer. Our guest between the first and second period, Fran Rosa of the Boston Globe. We'll be talking about Boston, the coaching change this year. What difference in the squad, whatever. They're playing pretty good hockey in B-Town. Boston has only lost one in the last five that they've played. Free puck, Rangers end and back across the blue line with 2.10 to go on the clock. First period, Rangers leading by two. Puck is up and stays on the ice. Duguay's got it. Inside the two-minute mark now as Boston comes out. Excellent checking so far by the Rangers in this first period. Jonathan runs his man. Bork and Duguay. Duguay leaves it behind. Marois pass deflected in center zone. Right back in by Middleton. Bothwell lifts it on the sideboard. Sullivan's got it. Sullivan plays the boards hoping for Duguay. Here's Duguay. Sullivan. Shot. Soft one. And Gilbert is there. Rangers still checking well. 1.28 to go in the period. Dick Redmond. Buck comes back across center zone with 1.16 on the clock. Middleton. Ricky sends it ahead. Eddie Johnstone back. EJ in the corner. And cleans it out into center zone. Eddie Johnstone, 26 years old today. Esposito. Johnstone in deep. Lost it. Vadney picks it back up. 50 seconds to go in the period. Eddie Johnstone was looking for Vadney. Miller, long shot. Just wide. That was a heck of a shot. Good low shot for the corner. Here's another one. Knocked down in front. Vadney gets it back to center zone. Boston will have to come back. Murdoch there sends one across. Middleton intercepts. 30 seconds to go now as Middleton circles at his blue line. Pass on the right side by Brad McCrimmon. badney has got it. Looks for space. Lifts it high in the air and it goes up into the crowd. Carroll near had that one taken away from a little lethargic on that play. Face off is outside of the Ranger zone as the puck went off a broom stick going into the crowd. There's Milbury, an American born hockey player running around Massachusetts. He was born, born in Brighton, Massachusetts. 6'1", 202 pounds. Just 19 seconds to go in the period. Rangers still have only had three shots on goal. Boston's got seven. Shot in front is blocked. Rangers will lift it clear. That will not be enough to spoil the period. Ten seconds to go yet. Milbury, a cousin of Dave Silk, the Ranger draft choice from the United States Olympic team. Now the period will end with the Rangers in control. Uh, and so at the end of one period of play the score is Rangers 2 I'm glad to be back good to have you back too Rodrigue there is Phil Esposito and he has been flying Phil Esposito currently leading the Rangers or now tied for the scoring championship of the Rangers he has 61 points of 28 goals and 33 assists Hedberg has 30 goals and 31 assists was also with 61 points. And the squeegee's out on the ice, Jim. Is that a new player? Taking a little bit, <laughs> a little bit of the excess water away from in front of Gilbert's net. Well, there's a lot of water out there. I'll say there is. Well, it's getting towards springtime. You never know it from where we are. 
15 degrees Fahrenheit right now. Jeff Cermak, of course, will be able to convert that to Celsius for us. Our math teacher. I would guess about eight. About minus 10, Jeff. Pretty close. Give or take a degree. One degree, okay. 40 minutes of hockey remaining. Rangers leading 2 0, and Greshner sends it the length of the ice. It'll come back the length of the ice. This will be an icing call. Not really an auspicious start. Face off will come back to the Ranger zone. To the right of John Davidson. Ron Greshner. He's currently tied with Bjorn Salming of the Toronto Maple Leafs for most goals by a defenseman, 17. Esposito facing off against Craig McTavish. McTavish gets it back from the point to pass along left wing. Greshner and Middleton. Greshner goes down. Middleton has the puck. Greshner kicks it loose. Free puck. They've got it again. Boston. Milbury shot. Screen blocked. Rebound Rangers back to center zone. Rick Middleton on the wing. That's Talavis back. He lost to McTavish. But Don Maloney picks it up and fires across behind Esposito, who has to come back. Scramble at the blue line and back into center zone. Offside call. John D'Amico, the linesman, calling the offside. John, one of the better linesmen, if not the best in the National Hockey League. He had a crack at referee, but just couldn't take it as a referee. It's happened to many players, many uh, officials. Have you noticed that so many people with thinning hair get to be the best in their business, Bill? <laughs> you haven't noticed that? <clears throat> well, stand up and look, 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 look down at me. <laughs> Free puck in the Rangers' end. This is Vadne. Break in. Vickers, he's got a shot. He's too deep now. Angle pass in front. Just goes wide. Redmond up ahead. Look at that Vickers skate. And he gets a hand from the crowd. Off McNabb skates, but Vadney captures in his own end and lifts it clear. Dick Redmond goes back. Al Secord, number 20. Vickers now has another mouth to feed. And back into the Rangers' end. Boston showing a little bit more drive here in the second period. See if the Rangers can poke them back out. Vickers does here. Maloney just does cross the line. O'Reilly sends it right back in again. Here's McNabb looking for O'Reilly. It's off Dave Maloney's skates, and Dave has it under control. O'Reilly hits him a pretty good check. Cross ice pass. Hedberg onside. Headman tipped ahead by Vickers, but too far ahead. Redmond is back for it. Kachuk is in deep. He's got two men in front. The pass across goes behind the net. Both Kachuk and Vickers right out in front that time. Rangers completing their change. Here's Murdoch going after the puck. He cannot get to it. Redmond. He's got McNabb. Poked away by Bothwell. Good defensive play by the rookie. And there's Whistle as the Rangers send it in. There's an offside as the Boston Bruins send it in. Breaking the action score. Rangers two and Boston nothing. Saw it the puck back into the Rangers end to your left. 17 minutes and 13 seconds to go. Period number two. Rangers leading 2 nothing. Puck goes back behind Smith. Rick Smith back behind the goal line. Johnstone trying to take it away. Little Eddie in a hurry. And gets position on him. Miller. That's Duguay on Miller. Good four checking by this line of Murdoch, Duguay, and Johnstone. Murdoch might have a shot. Sharp angle. He's bodied off the puck, and it comes loose to Boston. 
Lalonde up on left side. Dwight Foster with Lalonde in front. Drops it back. Rangers have it. Murdoch trying to find Duguay loose, but he was slowed up before he could get to the red line by Smith. Good check. Without that check, he was gone. Rangers in their own end, fighting to get it loose. Marwa on the sideboards. Got two men tied up. And a frozen puck finally. The Rangers continue to outskate. They were all over the Boston Bruins. Not giving Boston a chance to get set up. Murdoch had an outstanding game in Boston. Have to be it out for four or five games. Ron Duguay checking the alignment of his defenseman. Gets it ahead. That makes it sort of a moot question. Taken by Middleton. Middleton against Bothwell turns. One in. Marwa behind the net. Look out. Give it away to Jonathan. Gets it back again. Backhand pass. Jonathan in front. Stopped by Davidson. And J.D. clears. Beautiful play. That's Sullivan trying to get a play stoppage on the sideboard. Can't do it, but Duguay's got the puck and clears. Rangers had a problem. The first time they've been in, had a problem in this game so far. Jonathan in center zone. Bothwell knocks it loose. And back into the Rangers end again. Bothwell. Free puck, Rangers end. Centering pass by the Bruins. Rangers should be able to get to it. That Middleton's all over the place. Jim Mayer, number 34. Hits Duguay in the tail as he goes in. Puck stops at center zone. Offside. It was a delayed offside. The linesman was giving Boston an opportunity to come out of the zone. There's Jim Mayer, brought up from the New Haven Nighthawks. In 50 games, he had 57 points. Fifteen minutes and 26 seconds to go. Period number two. Rangers leading by a score of two nothing over the Boston Bruins. Jim Fred Shiro's changing his lines very, very rapidly. He's not giving them much time out there. Good point. But Chuck's line with Hedberg and Vickers. Ray Bork across. Redmond to Bork. Secord. Vickers off the sideboards. Free puck. Boston's got it. O'Reilly dumps one in. This is Secord. Secord goes back. Still now he lost it. O'Reilly fights for it in the corner. Greshner gets to it. Greshner having problems with Secord. Here's O'Reilly. Boston threatening now. Secord and O'Reilly. They're going to man in front of McNabb, but Beck takes it away. Hooking penalty. Rangers are going to lose a man as they got in trouble and couldn't get out. Breaking the action. Score. Rangers two and Boston nothing. Waller can chuck in the penalty box for the Rangers. It'll be the third power play attempt by the Boston Bruins. Watch on the left-hand side of the Ranger net. The Rangers having problems with the puck. Greshner and Kachuk. Didn't look like much of a hook to me. It looked like a dive by O'Reilly. Well, what it looked like to the man with the red stripe in his arm is Rangers are now down a man. Power play, Boston Bruins. This will be the third power play. Boston, excellent, excellent power play team. You can't keep giving them opportunities without getting hurt. Beck. Middleton takes the Beck pass. Middleton in front. Knocked away by Beck. By Esposito, rather. This is Talavis, one man to beat. Good hip check on Talavis coming down. Took him right out of the play. Here comes Bork. Bork's got two men in front. O'Reilly back to Bork. Pass across in front. Pretty play went bust. That was a good looking play. It just went bust when that last pass couldn't connect. Rangers get it back to center and make a change. Don Maloney reaches for the puck. McNabb centering pass. Middleton. Beck knocks it away. Greshner. And the puck is cleared. And Don Maloney was pulled down. The Rangers thought there should have been a penalty on the Boston Bruins. 14 minutes to go in the second period. Time in the Boston power, power play. 105. Here comes McNabb. Middleton on the off wing. To McNabb. They have Redmond in front. Rangers trying to take it away. Bork throws his body. Rangers clear. 
Chandler has almost got behind Redmond. Good clearing play by Vadney. O'Reilly going to the corner with Maloney. Shot just wide by Jonathan. And Rangers clear. Two on one. It's two on two with Jonathan getting back. Canavis is free. He lost his stick. Apparently the referee said he didn't throw it at it. He lost it. Jim, it looked like a throw stick to me. I thought maybe. <laughs> Take a look at it. Oliver steals a puck and he makes quite a play around Redmond. Now watch him go in. Let's see if Gilbert does or does not throw his stick. No, he did not. Good call. Good non-call. Rangers doing well against this power play thus far. We've got about uh, 18 seconds to go. Duguay in the corner, slowing them down. Good play by Duguay. He's excelling at just about every part of the game. He's knocked down and no penalty call. The crowd gets upset. Penalty is now over, but Boston has the puck in the Rangers' end, and they're in deep. Back behind the net. In front. Save. Jim, I don't know how many times I've seen it recently where the referee is not protecting the team that's shorthanded in their own zone. A great play, a great save by Davidson. Puck goes behind the range of net. And there's a play out front. Lalone. So the Rangers have outlasted the third Boston power play. Puck is still in the Rangers' end and in dangerous position here. Free puck, it is still free, and now Kachuk. Kachuk for the Rangers to Hedberg. Bad pass. Foster save a post. A piece and then the post, I believe. Rangers got a break on that one. Here comes Foster again. Vadney sweeps it away and clears. Rangers have come out a little bit flat compared to Boston here in the second period. So far, they've been able to withstand it. And Vadney sends it in. Lalonde. Jonathan. Lost his edge. Marwa checked out. Vickers lost it. Here's Marwa with a backhander. Gets behind Milbury. Or beg your pardon, that's not Milbury, it's McCrimmon. And sent into the Rangers' end. Bothwell goes back. There should be an icing call. There's the whistle. Break in the action. Score. Rangers 2 and Boston 0. Coach of the Boston Bruins. Free puck, Boston's end. Rangers still only have three shots on net. They, they haven't had a shot in this period. Obviously, have got to do better than that. Not if you can score two out of every three shots. <laughs> All right, Chadwick. <laughs> Marwa. Giveaway in front, kicked away. Beautiful stop by Botwell. Big play by Tim. Maloney, Don Maloney on right wing. Esposito in front, just wide of Gilbert. Espo's got it in front. Maloney shot save. Back Marwa goes deep, knocks it away. Espo's got it. Two men in front, trying to center one and cannot. Marwa goes deep again and keeps it in. And again. Espo's got it. Crowd thought there should have been a penalty. Rangers picked up two shots on goal in that little flurry. And back to Marwa. Esposito. Boston's on a change. They get two men back, though. Good drop pass. Bothwell couldn't handle it. 
Timmy on the sideboards lost it. Rangers come back, and this is Talibus protecting. Rangers seem to have got back their old steam from the first period. Bob Miller, number 14. This is Miller. Gresher knocks it away. McNabb in deep. O'Reilly can't get the shot away yet. Drop pass. Shot toward net. Missed on a clearing attempt by Davidson, but Beck gets it to his wing, and it is cleared just to the blue line. Turn around shot, deflected in front. And kicked wide, left side of J.D. We're halfway through the period now. O'Reilly's got it. Johnstone goes after him. Johnston and O'Reilly are down. They're going to go. O'Reilly had come up with a high check on Johnstone. Nothing was called, and Johnstone decided to take it into his own hand. Jim, I don't think that's going to be a goal. I believe the whistle had blown. There's a break in the action with the score. Rangers 2 and Boston nothing. on the penalties prevented the goal. 9.40 second left in this, seven left in this second period. O'Reilly gets two for elbowing, two for roughing, Johnstone two for roughing. The net result will be a Ranger power play at the end of two minutes. Faceoff will be in the Ranger zone, and it shouldn't be. The faceoff should be out in center ice. Dave Maloney is talking about that to John D'Amico. At least we presume that's what he's talking to John D'Amico about. It is four on four. Rangers had the puck. Vadney. He carries into center zone with some difficulty. Foster's all over him. Murdoch goes after the puck and cannot get to it. Redmond. Penalty against the Rangers. So Murdoch's going. That'll make it a four on three situation temporarily. A bad penalty for Don Murdoch to take. The penalty is two minutes for tripping. Number 14 of New York, Don Murdoch. He receives two Face off is in the Ranger zone. 35 seconds. 10 35. So Don Murdoch. Joins Eddie Johnston in the penalty box. O'Reilly's in the penalty box for Boston. That's Redmond going into the Ranger zone. Watch Murdoch come behind the broom. Okay, it is now a four on three Boston. Rangers having their problems in this period, but still lead 2-0. Bork across. Redmond fakes the shot. Redmond back to Bork. Looking to Redmond again. The shot. Save in front. I think it was Davidson on the puck. Faceoff will continue to be in the Rangers zone, this time to the left of Big John. Dugay again on the critical face-off against uh, Dwight Foster. It'll Middleton, Foster, York, and Redmond. And again, Dugay gets the draw. This time, Foster's in on top of it, though. Vadney trying to take it away and cannot. Vadney on the sideboards. Dugay! He loves to kill penalties. You hardly think of anything he doesn't do well. He's going to go after this puck, too. 
the Boston players are amazed at his versatility the other night. Look at the body hit. Good one-man job by Mr. Duguay. Middleton and round Beck. Redmond takes a hit. Beck's got the puck. That was Kachuk's check on Redmond. Good defensive play by Walla Kachuk. Beck goes down. No penalty call. There's another situation where you got to protect the team that shorthanded in their own zone. It does seem to be a bit of an imbalance, doesn't there? 8-12 to go. Second period. Rangers leading by two. McNabb. Bork. Bork's got a shot. They look to McNabb. He couldn't steer it in. Beck takes him out. Badney's got the puck. And Carroll clears deep. Ranger will get a man back here. Johnstone's back. Johnstone comes back. And there's 20 seconds left on Murdoch's penalty, and he'll come back. Then the Rangers will have the power play. Redmond with the puck. Johnstone stays in deep. Bork ahead to Middleton. It's two on two. Rangers are back. McNabb in Middleton. McNabb's in front. He shoots wide. Now the Rangers have a power play as Murdoch hits the ice. Murdoch goes toward the bench. He can't get off. Johnstone toward the net. Saves Gilbert. Could have carried wide. Miller knocked away by Esposito's check. Murdoch still on the ice. And back into the Rangers end. One minute and 14 seconds in the Ranger power play. Hedberg. Save! Oh, what a tricky shot that was. It almost caught net. That's the patent and boob of Hedberg. Vickers. Greshner lost in a poke check. Boss is going to break. Only one man back. Just back. This is Miller's shot, and it's Beck making the stoppage into the crowd. Gil Gilbert came out of his net to talk to the linesman. Well, you see this move by Hedberg coming down the right-hand side on the off wing. He plays on the off wing. He lets it go, and a good save. There's a light up in the end of the rink that Jill Bear is kicking about. TV crew is doing some shooting up, and it was distracting. Very bright light. It is not our crew. We wouldn't do a thing like that. Free puck, Rangers end. They've got the power play going for 38 more seconds. Esposito with the puck. Greshner off the sideboards. Onside. Greshner deep. Greshner behind the net. Espo's in a deep slot. Greshner to the wing. Back to the point. Beck. He'll shoot. Wide. Esposito went for it, couldn't get to it. Gilbert was out of his net. Here's Vickers. And cleared. That'll take care of the power play. About 10 seconds to go. Esposito drops it off. And the power play is over as Marois sends it in. Then we have an offside to face off outside of the Ranger zone. Shots on goal now, Rangers seven. <coughs> The Bruins nine with 5.45 to go in this second period. Between the second and third period, we have a tape that I made with big John Davidson. DJ, 26 years old today. Marwa with the puck. Rangers leading 2 nothing. Believe it or not, we're almost finished with the second period. 5.37 to go. Rangers have seven shots on that. Bruins nine. Bruins have had two in this period. Rangers four. McNabb just went for the short side. He almost caught that one. Caught me by surprise. Didn't expect him to shoot. Duguay's in a race. And Gilbert has to come out to win it. Shot just wide. Murdoch almost found the empty hole. McNabb. 
Vickers ties him up. Murdoch gets it clear to center zone. Dugay waits, finds Johnstone coming in. Johnstone shot high. Save. Johnstone. And McNabb inside the five minute mark now, second period. McNabb. O'Reilly. McNabb. O'Reilly. Knocked away by Bothwell. And it rolls on edge the length of the ice. And McNabb was home free if that pass went through. Icy call, breaking the action. Score, Rangers two and Boston nothing. Captain of the New York Rangers, Dave Maloney. Looks like he's growing a beard again. He hasn't shaved since 10 o'clock this morning. <laughs> he and Brother Don are real blue beards. 4.35 to go. Shot blocked. Middle and almost on Cork one. Talib is across the line. Bork. Jonathan. Redmond. Good defensive hockey game. You haven't heard the crowd clap impatiently or boo once despite the low shots on goal total. Sent ahead by McTavish. Dave Maloney. Rangers in trouble here under pressure. Bad days after it. Lost a stick. Kicks it along the boards. And Kachuk clears. Talibus. Dave Maloney in deep. Don Maloney. Trying to find Talibus and cannot. There's Kachuk. Don Maloney and Kachuk making Boston play it. Talibus takes it away. Dean Talibus with one goal tonight. McTavish takes it away from him. And lifted to center zone. McTavish ahead. Beck coming back. Middleton on his tail. Beck lost it. Jonathan and Beck and Don Maloney. What a rock that Beck is. Having a great game. They avoid him like ships in the shallows, too. I'll tell you, they try not to hit that rock. 3.09 to go. Badney in very deep. He won't know his way back. Could be an icing call. It'll be waved off. Beck gets across. Vickers has the puck. Talibus. Dean goes wide left. Espo goes for the net. Talibus wastes some time but can't get the pass out. Vickers comes in. Frozen puck. Bruins end. 2.44 to go. Shots on goal now. Rangers 8. Bruins 9. You got Vickers out there on the left side of Esposito now. With Hedberg on the right side. Vickers goes to the corner. Espo's got the puck. Hedberg's in front. Espo, sharp angle. Shot in front. Blocked. Kept in by the Rangers. Bothwell ahead. Espo, it goes to just past Esposito. Hedberg. A good setup, but Espo couldn't reach for it. A little bit too far in front. He's got it now. Turnaround shot is wide. Bothwell shot high and off the glass. And the Bruins take over with 2.20 to go in the period. Second period. Bobby Lalonde. Bothwell and Hedberg double team him. Here's Wensink in deep. Marwar trying to hold Wensink in. Vickers. Hedberg. Lost it. Espo goes for it. Ian Smith. Rangers fighting for control and can't quite get it. 154 to go in the period. Tim Bothwell. Rangers skating very well tonight. Duguay offside, two-line pass by far. 
There's some out of town scores for you. That game was this afternoon, nothing, nothing with Pittsburgh and the Islanders. Chicago coming from behind to beat Winnipeg. Christian, one of the heroes of the United States Olympic team, got one of the Winnipeg goals. Montreal in the third period out in front of the high fly and Philadelphia Flyers three to one. Colorado two to nothing over Washington in the third period. Toronto one to nothing over Detroit and no score in Minnesota with Buffalo. Shot by Bork, hit McNabb and came back to center zone. Now to the Rangers end for Vadney. Carroll off the sideboards and it goes up into the Boston bench area, freezing the clock at 1.36. Don't forget to stay with us and listen to big John Davidson, an awful personable young man. That young man's father is the general manager of the Washington Capitals. Max McNabb used to play with the Detroit Red Wings in the heyday of the Red Wings with Abel, Lindsay, Howell. McNabb was the center on the second line. Free puck, Boston's got it. Fork shot, knocked down in front. And Rangers clear. Rangers have been very deliberate about getting the puck out of their own end tonight into center zone. Jim Badney's having another great game defensively. John Stone and O'Reilly on the sideboards. Mayer, shot, Duguay, and a blocker save. The puck goes up into the crowd. Good shot by Duke, a little bit high. And they have given Gilbert a save on that shot. Carol Vadney, formerly of the Boston Bruins, formerly of the California Seals, formerly of the Montreal Canadiens. Just behind Vadney in the center zone. Johnstone missed it. Duguay does not. This is the last He's had the puck second. all night. Lost oh. by the Rangers. Giveaway. McNabb. Maloney takes him out. Bork's got an angle. Can't get the shot away. Mayer's on him on a check. Mayer off the sideboards. Kept in by Secord. 40 seconds remaining in the second period. Kept in by the Bruins. Rangers have a problem here. O'Reilly shot. Blocked in front. And lifted clear by the Rangers. 30 seconds to go. Long shot wide of JD. Dave Maloney's got it. There's a whistle on an offside. Face off will be in center ice with 27 seconds to go in this second period. And each team with only nine shots on goal. Two of the Rangers have gone behind Jill Barrett. It's 2 0 New York. The Rangers trying to even up the season, season series with the Boston Bruins. Buck is in center zone and sent in by Boston. Rangers have it. Gresham across to Beck. Under pressure to the blue line and across. Shiro's making another change, Jim. This time it's Hedberg, Esposito, and Murdoch. 15 seconds to go in the period. Beck turns it up to his wing. Hedberg on left wing. Esposito. Greshner. Shot. Blocked. Three seconds to go in the period. And it's over. <laughs> End of the second period, the score is Rangers two and Boston nothing. Johnston and O'Reilly got mixed up over on the top of your screen. In the meantime, the puck went in, but the referee, Brian Lewis, had blown the whistle. O'Reilly took four minutes on that particular one. Eddie Johnston took two. And now we'll see a save by J.D. Watch Lalone try to stop the puck. And J.D. came up with a big save. Dean Talibas, and Talibas just seems to get better and better with his line. Jim, he's what they call in the trade an honest hockey player. Sure. Dean Talibas comes to play. He hasn't got all the tools that some of the other has, but he uses what he has. There's Gil Gilbert having a, the trainer. Skating a skate stone. Stone is skate. That's okay, ladies and gentlemen. Your skates can be stoned. There's nothing wrong with that. 
just take that little sharp edge off. Goaltenders like to be able to slide. They don't want that edge to dig in. There he goes on his happy skates. All right, Craig McTavish and Esposito on the faceoff. 20 minutes to go in this hockey game. Two line pass offside. They'll face again. Face off just over the Ranger blue line in the Ranger zone. Big Barry Beck. He makes such a difference to this team, and he is still not truly and completely healthy. 22 years old. Here's Barry. Freshner. Canavis. Good pass by Dean. Dom Maloney to Espo. Esposito, sharp angle. Ridden out behind the net. McTavish is there with Don Maloney. Bruins coming out. Middleton. Talavis is back checking on Jonathan and gets position on him. Give away to Middleton. Off the side of the net. In front. Free puck. Rangers have it. Two on two coming out. Greshner and Esposito. Esposito to Greshner who goes down. Rangers try to keep it in. It's off Vickers' stick and pops up into the crowd. Esposito tried to jump over the defender's stick. On, I mean, Greshner tried to jump over the defender's stick on that one. Face off outside of the Bruins zone. And Chuck comes out with the new father, Vickers and Edberg. Dave Maloney passed one across. Set ahead by Vadney, knocked down at center zone. This is Al Secord, number 20. Kachuk ahead. Vicker has lost it off his boots. Pass was just a little bit behind Steve on that one. Yep, right on his skates. O'Reilly to Redmond, Redmond to Bork. This is Bork. Shot on goal and a save. Dave Maloney, just in front of McNabb, a dangerous pass. Lost to Redmond. His shot is stopped in front of the net. And tipped into center zone by the Rangers. That'll be an icing call unless Hedberg can get there. And the goaltender did not play it. That's an icing call. So the faceoff back into the Rangers zone to the left of John Davidson. Peter McNabb's out there. With Secord, and he's a big tough one, and there's Peter out of Denver University. And Terry O'Reilly on the right side. Dave Maloney behind the goal line. A pretty good size in that forward line, too. Well, that's a big one. Hedberg in for checking. This is Dick Redmond. Rangers leading 2 0. Third period, a lot of hockey time to go. O'Reilly. Secord, Dave Maloney, Secord and Maloney. Rangers had the puck. Kachuk, Kachuk, nice play. Vickers has sharp angle, couldn't get the shot away. In front and missed by Hedberg. Kachuk almost bought one just with an extra stride. Secord's long shot save. Davidson's controlling his rebounds beautifully. Bruins going right back in again. Dumped in on the right side by Smith. Dave Maloney took a heavy check from O'Reilly and went down. Bruins are going to have to throw their weight. That's the only way to pry the puck loose the way the Rangers are playing tonight. That's the way they came out in the third period in Boston, Jim, and it almost paid off for them. Yep. Johnstone looking for a two-on-two -two breakout left side of Murdoch with Duguay ahead. Duguay just wide. He hooked it too much. Murdoch keeps it in play. Duguay's pass goes off the glass. Stays on the ice now. Dwight Foster, 27. Two men on one for the Rangers. Murdoch on the sideboard, lost it. Tim Bothwell to Mario Marois. And back to center zone. This is Bob Miller, 14, and Foster, 27, and he sends it in. 
No shots for the Rangers in this period so far. One for the Bruins. Bobby Lalonde tries to break in and takes a dive going in. Miller centers one. Rangers have it. Marijuana Murdoch. He's got a three on two. From the point in front, shot outside the post. Outside the net, he drew it just too fine. What chances that Duque has had in this hockey game? Frozen puck in the Boston end, breaking the action. Score, Rangers two and Boston nothing. Gray hairs curly. <laughs> Play is in the Boston end. Jonathan cannot clear it. Greshner. Solomon in deep. Middleton and Beck, and it's behind Beck. Esposito gets back. Good play by Espo. Little hustle there by the old pro. Excuse me, the young pro. I got carried away, Phil. He's an awful young 38, I'll tell you that. 15 33 to go. Third period. Jim Mayer ahead. Barry Beck lost it to Middleton. Greshner back. Middleton's been the best Bruin out there tonight, I think. Greshner. Bruins forechecking a little bit more alertly now. Millbury are away from Esposito. Jim, the Bruins are a defensive hockey club, and they're going to have to give up a little bit of their defense when it comes down to another five minutes or so. Yep, we're at the 15 minute mark now. 15 minutes to go. Rangers leading by two. Good checking by the Rangers. Bruins having trouble moving across the red line. They do it now, though. McCrimmon. Middleton. Bad name. Jim Mayer, 34 for the Rangers. Vadney tries to lift it clear. Cannot. Here's a shot on the screen. Save. He's just got it. Big John is shot. As the rookie McCrimmon on the left hand point, he makes the shot. John is way out to cut down the angle, but that shot is low and he had to get down. Vadney and Al Secord. Free puck. It's out in front for the Bruins. And now behind the penalty. Against the Rangers. Break in the action. Score Rangers two and Boston nothing. Chuck in the penalty box for the second time tonight, both for hooking and both in the same plays behind the net. Face Duke. off in the Rangers zone. It's Dugay out there with Talifus. Dave Maloney and I guess Carol Vadney in the far side. This is the sixth power play for Boston. Here's a shot on the screen. It's a save. Fifth power play for Jeff. Yo, Johnson and O'Reilly. No. Went out at the same time. Six penalties called against the Rangers. Fifth power play. Those black eyes. That is not makeup. That's incredible. <laughs> to the point. Ray Bork shot. Just wide. Talavis has the puck.
Vinnie Johnston comes off the bench to take the place of Newgate. Middleton on the off wing. Behind Badu with a burst of speed. Picked up by Talavis. In front, kick wide, shot by Bork here. Knocked away from him, he can't get it away. And the Rangers break, two on one. Talavis wide left side. McNabb getting back on Talavis. And a good play, the Rangers open it up, Dave Maloney goes back. Smart hockey by Dave Maloney. He couldn't find Talavis with a pass, so he just brought it back and wasted the clock. Barry Beck comes out with Greshna. 104 to go on the power play for Boston. Beck and Redmond. Bork. Middleton. McNabb sneaking in from the right side. He's in front. Bork shot. Wide. McNabb. Wide. Big break for the Rangers and McNabb blew it. Here's McNabb again. Shot. Four. He didn't blow that one and it's a power play goal for the Bruins. Peter McNabb comes up with a power play goal. There's the one he blew. And McNabb stays right out in the crease, right out in the slot. No one near him. This one comes to him. Barry Beck goes down a little prematurely. And McNabb threads the needle. It goes behind Davidson. We have a new hockey game. The Rangers have not had a shot on goal in the third period. On assist for number 24, Terry O'Reilly, and number seven, Ray Park. Terry O'Reilly and Ray Park get the assist. It's a power play goal for the Bruins. And it's a different hockey game. Offside coming in. Different hockey game now. 2-1 Rangers. Bruins had 13 shots on goal. They had nine at the end of two periods. They picked up four here. One went in. Rangers have not had a shot in the third period. They've had nine shots in the entire game. Peter McNabb has now 12 points in the last six games, including this one. Buck goes into the Rangers' end. Greshner. Esposito just across the line. Bruins are back in a hurry, though. And back into the Rangers' end. Bruins fan on it. Here comes Gary Doak back. I don't think I've given Doak a call tonight. He hasn't been out there that much, Jim. Doak and Don Maloney. And a frozen puck in the Bruins' end because of some hustling by Maloney. Gary Doak thought he was going to have an icing. Face off in the Bruin zone to the left of Gilles Gilbert, who has not been very busy tonight. Rangers only nine shots on goal. Esposito against McTavish. That's been the draw all night long, it seems. Guess they don't expect a guy named McTavish to give anything away. Back behind the goal line. Talavis and Don Maloney trying to get up at the Rangers. McTavish comes up with the puck. Center zone. Rangers have it. They clear the area. Back to Bothwell. Don Maloney tips it across. Here comes Marois. Don Maloney's in deep. Try to center for Espo and could not. Rangers fighting to get a face off in the Bruins end again. They'll do that all night if they can. 11.56 remains. Both teams make changes. Rangers have got to get a little bit more aggressive. They're playing an excellent defensive hockey game, but again, the shots on goal. Unusually low, nine shots in all. None in this period for the Rangers, almost halfway through. Both teams have got the power play goal. Johnston and Murdoch. Murdoch playing on the left side. Pass across to Bothwell. Shot. Save. Big save. What a shot by Bothwell. He really uncorked one. Bothwell let it go from the point, kept it good and low, and Gilbert was handcuffed. There's a pass from Mario Mauwa to Bothwell, and Bothwell lets a low shot go. Milbury just 
Took Murdoch out of the play. Duguay looking behind him, hoping for Boswell. He can't find him, and the Bruins try to break. Here comes Johnny Wensink. Wensink sends one behind Mar uh, Marois. Here's Boswell. Play in the Rangers end now. 11.39 to go in the game. Rangers leading by a goal. And a frozen puck in the Rangers end. Both teams being ultra careful. Rangers got a shot on goal. So it's 10 shots for the Rangers, 13 for the Bruins, deep in the third period. Eddie Johnstone, the birthday boy. In a sometimes weird National Hockey League schedule, the Rangers will be playing, the New Yorks will be playing the Buffaloes here on Wednesday night, the first time we've seen the Sabres all year in Madison Square Garden. From the point, screenshot, wide, high. Johnstone is there. Has trouble, double team. And cleared by the Rangers. Nice pass to Dugay, as a matter of fact, by Bothwell. Dugay lost it. Wensink starts in. Marwa takes it away. Boston has it center zone. Pass across. Bothwell knocks it free. Bothwell cuts across to get behind Marois' position. Marois took out two men on the far side. Johnstone's got it. Marois rushing. Marois goes deep. And pin. Murdoch, the only Ranger deep now. On the right side. Lalonde lost to Duguay's check. A pretty check. Dave Maloney. Maloney pulled down. Penalty. And Lalonde's going for pulling down Dave Maloney. A good offensive play by Dave Maloney. Breaking the action. Score. Rangers two and the Boston's one. The penalty is to Mr. Maloney. Number 19 of Boston, Bobby Lalonde. He receives two minutes for holding. The time is nine minutes, 30 seconds, 9.13. Montreal without Mr. Hockey. Guy Lafleur is out in front of Philadelphia Flyers. Five to one in the third. There's Maloney making the offensive play, trying to go through the middle. And you see Lalone wrap themselves around him, pulling him down. Big power play here with 10 and a half minutes to go in the game. Rangers leading by a goal. Beck has the puck. To his wing. Back to Barry. Talavis can't find the handle. Bork tries to clear. Greshner stays in. Bork again. Bruins uh, do not clear. Beck's there. Don Maloney behind the net. Espo's in a slot. He's got a shot. Greshner. Save. Rebound clear. Exactly 10 minutes to go in the game. Rangers with a one goal lead. Beck to Greshner. Knocked away from Greshner, back across center zone. Jim, on that one, Greshner was trying to be a little too cute. What the Rangers have done here tonight and what they did against Boston is play their game, their own game, instead of letting the other team call the pattern. They've not been responding. They've been acting. That's ball ahead. Lost it. Tries to get it back. Greshner kept it in play. Got Don Maloney in front, can't find him. There's Don behind the net now. Espo had lost his stick. Greshner, shot, blocked. Breakout almost. Greshner getting back. And what a break as Greshner hit two men, Jonathan and Miller at the same time. Otherwise, it's a breakaway. Here goes Beck. No penalty. Smith playing without a stick. Hand pass. Hand pass is called. Here's the one the fans are up in arms at. Beck coming in, trying to split the defense. 
Eight minutes and 53 seconds to go in the game. Rangers leading two to one. Rangers on a power play for the next 23 seconds. It's the Chuck, Hedberg, and Vickers out there now with Maloney and Badney. Free puck. Shot. Save. Save. Hedberg could not get all the wood on the puck. There's Wallach took. He wins the faceoff. The puck goes back to Vadney. Vadney takes the shot, the save. Now watch Hedberg. He gets the stick on it, but can't get it all. Eighteen seconds in the power play. And it will be cleared. Rangers have one more shot at it here in the power play. Maybe they won't. Nine seconds to go. Face off in center zone. Rick Smith with the championship teams, the Stanley Cup teams of the Boston Bruins, and jump to the World Hockey Association. Rangers had the puck. Time running down. Five seconds to go in the power play. Javier out of his net. Vadney trying to get it under control. Power play is over. Rangers five and five in front. Just wide and a save by Gilbert. Back to the point to Vadney. Pass in front deflected save. I really don't believe they want to do any fighting. No time to take penalties now. There's a break in the action with the score. The New York Rangers two, the Boston Bruins one. play that's bad he just tries to throw it up in the corner to get it up in front Gilbert makes the save and there's Hedberg and Vickers and look at Vickers behind Gilbert Smith does a job on Hedberg and Vickers got in and O'Reilly comes back in to make sure it's all even we're back to live play Eight oh five to go in the game see Gordon Hedberg behind bad Dave Maloney is back Rangers, after a lot of changing with their defensive combinations, Bill, have pretty well settled down on defensive pairs now. Well, what's helped so much is the, the, way the play of uh, Bothwell. Jim. In front. Kept in. Good play. Knocked down in front. The Kremen made a dandy play that time, keeping that puck in for Boston. O'Reilly trying to dig it loose and does. And back across the blue line with seven and a half minutes to go in the game. And the Rangers make a wholesale change. And miss the puck. Here comes McNabb. Marwa got back. Mario Marwa turned and ran and got a stick in the way. Good play. Terry O'Reilly, the captain of the Boston Bruins. And no game is ever over with these in. Shots on goal now, 13 apiece. 7.20 left in this hockey game. Interesting kind of a hockey game, isn't it? Fundamentally sound. Face off on the right side of JD. Dangerous position. Rangers get the draw, though. Marwa lost it. Wide. Sullivan. On his backhand, could not clear. Redmond lost it, and Bothwell clears. That wasn't a very big play, was it, by Bothwell? 
6.58 to go. Rangers with a one goal lead. Dugay at the red line. Tries to get it under control. Dugay's got it. Bothwell across the line again. McTavish. Here comes Jonathan into the corner. Bruins digging for the puck. Back to the point. Redmond passes around the turn. Middleton and Bothwell. Jim Mayer's there. Bruins had the puck. In front poke check. Bothwell clears. Good play by Tim. Bruins coming in. Middleton's pass in front. Cleared by Davidson. And Bothwell again. Headman pass onside. Mayer in front miss by Solomon. Solomon just dragged a little bit behind it. Good play by the rookie Mayer. Poked back by the Rangers. Gresher that time. Dugay takes it away. Jim Mayer's got it on the wing. Shot saves Gilbert. And a frozen puck inside the Boston end. Breaking the action with the score. Rangers 2 and Boston 1. Here's to good friends. I toast. Jim Mayer, the newest Ranger. Showed a little speed that time, Bill. When he broke, he's got a couple of different speeds. Wensing. Chalavis knocks it away. Bobby Lalonde lost it. Checked by Badnick. Rangers solidly defensive now. 5.20 to go. They've got a one goal lead. Milbury. Offside by far on right wing. Foster and Wensing both across the line. Milbury making a couple of dekes at his own blue line. There's Lalonde. The Bruins acquired him from the Vancouver Canucks. And Wensink, he used to be a tough guy. He's turned in to be a hockey player and a scorer. Sent in by Milbury. Talavis tips it ahead, but Lalonde gets to it. Bruins have it behind the net. That's Dwight Foster, 27. Up on the wing for the Rangers. They're trying to clear and having difficulty. Dave Maloney behind the net. Vadney looks for an opening. Soft pass to Espo. Espo comes out. He's got Don Maloney on his left. Don Maloney. Espo. Long shot. Save. Espo kept it in place. Save Gilbert again. Four and a half minutes to go in the game. Wensing. Challenged by Marijuana. Lost it. This is Foster. Pretty good check by Bothwell. Bothwell's had himself quite a hockey game again. Coming up in the four minute mark. Terry O'Reilly, always dangerous. Hip check. In front, wide save! And Espos got the puck. Rangers coming down, three on two. Hedberg, save! Hedberg on the off wing again, and back to center zone. What an explosive hockey player that Hedberg is. An explosive game, 3.46 to go. Nothing but excitement building here now. O'Reilly coming down and sends it in. Bothwell back, goes the other way. Good play. Greshner on the sideboards, two on one. It's two on two now. Here comes Vickers. Vickers in front. Hedberg, or Kachuk a shot, save. The whistle is blown. Well, the Rangers coming alive with 3.21 to go. A final score in Philadelphia. The Montreal Canadiens putting it all together. Five, the Philadelphia Flyers one. And that's only the sixth game this year that the Philadelphia Flyers have lost. Other games, Colorado still out in front of Washington. Detroit and Toronto tied up two apiece. Detroit seems to be coming alive. Buffalo, two to one over Minnesota. All right, score is two Rangers, one Boston, three minutes and 21 seconds to go. 
And the game, like all these tight games, is getting better and better as it gets on. Now the Rangers have had nine shots on goal this third period, as compared to nine in the entire first two. And Boston now has only had 14 shots. Face off inside the Bruins' end. Duguay trying to win the draw, cannot. It goes to Mickey to uh, Dick Redmond. Murdoch steals, shot blocked. Inner center zone. McTavish wide left side, takes the pass. Johnstone knocks it away. Beck clears off the sideboards, but not out. Redmond shot, wide and just wide. Bork and Johnstone kept in by McTavish. Here's his Greshner. Inside the three-minute mark, Murdoch on the wing. And clears. Duguay across, right side, Johnstone. Johnstone deeks, he's in. Lost it. Rangers getting back. Middle and always difficult. Hit from behind, shot way up and into the crowd. Off a stick. From anxious moments for the Rangers, but Eddie Johnson making a good offensive play, just overskated the puck. Two minutes and 35 seconds left in this hockey game with the score of the New York Rangers two, the Boston Bruins one. Face off deep in the Rangers zone to the left of John Davidson. The Esposito line is out. Shiro continues to make fast saves. Millberry in front, knocked down. Rangers, Dave Maloney ahead. Talibus. And plays it in for Don Maloney. Don spun off the puck. Boston coming out, 2.20 to go. In deep, shot wide of the net. Bruins in good position here now, and there's nobody in front. They all went to the corner. Milbury in deep. Espo has the puck. Esposito and lifts it clear. Smart play by Espo, just getting the puck out of the zone. Miller lost to Esposito and regains it. 1.58 to go in the game. We'll be watching Gilbert. Rangers on top by a goal. Bouncing puck in the Rangers' end. Rangers lift it to Esposito along the sideboard. Taken by Don Maloney. Talavis and Maloney, two on two. Talavis, Talavis, Talavis in front. Espo pokes at it, missed. 1.38 to go. Badney slowed them up coming out. Here comes Dwight Foster. Rangers chop it away. Beck is there. Free puck in front. Knocked away by Talavis. And a frozen puck. Jim, we haven't seen a Ranger team play like this in a long time. And the fans appreciate the effort. There's 126 to go. Joe Bear is still in his net. The faceoff is in the Rangers' own deep to the right of Davidson. Big play by Dean Talavis with a little poke check there that might have made the game. We'll see. Still 126 to go. All right. McNabb will be facing off while the Boston Bruins Duguay comes out as Vickers goes to the bench. Kachuk will be facing off. Duguay will go in if Kachuk gets tossed out of there on the faceoff. Free puck. Kachuk's got it. And can't clear. Secord sends it in deep. Beck and JD give away to O'Reilly. O'Reilly hit by Duguay, who is holding it. Free puck. Kachuk pulled down. No penalty. And it is not clear. 1-10 to go in the game. Now cleared for the Rangers. Kachuk. Kachuk. And sends it in. 1-0-2 to go. We'll be watching Gilbert. Duguay did the job and goes to the bench. Vickers is back out. 56 seconds to go. The Bruins in their own end. Gilbert is going for his bench. Here comes Ray Bork. Gilbert is off. Extra player on the ice. Vickers has the puck in his own end. Vickers turns it around. Kept in by McNabb. McNabb into the corner. Beck is at with 40 seconds to go. Beck tries to clear. Open net. Far end. Beck goes for the puck and can't get to it. This is Secord. Secord and Beck. Beck takes him out. Vickers tries to clear and cannot around McNabb. McNabb and Hedberg. 28 seconds to go. Frozen puck. Rangers end. Twenty-seven seconds to go in this hockey game, and the face-off where the Boston Bruins would like it. There's the empty net at the other end of the ice. 
Big Peter McNabb, he has the Boston Bruins goal. And that goal for McNabb was goal number 29, by the way. Looks like they're gonna call a time here, Phil. There is a timeout called, and it's New York Rangers that called the time. Fred Chero very wisely calling a timeout to give his defensive combination a rest. There's Big Phil. Walla Kachuk, I would guess, would be out there to take this face off. He's just about as good, if not better, than most face off men in the National Hockey League. Don't forget to be with us here on Wednesday when the Buffalo Sabres come into New York for the first time. And then up to Montreal on Saturday and back here against Colorado on Sunday. Fred Shero sends out his defensive five. It'll be Maloney, it'll be Vadney. Also got Barry Beck out there, Jim. He's got three defensemen. This is the biggest face-off, obviously, of the game. Now Esposito comes out on the ice. The Rangers have great strategy here. They got all kinds of extra skaters out there. Somebody better start counting pretty quick. The Bruins now have six skaters. Nobody in their net. Hedberg goes to the Ranger bench and is talking to the coach. Now Dave Maloney goes off too. That gives the Rangers their five skaters. Whoop, here comes Dave Maloney back on again. Somebody He's better not count again. Be allowed to go back. Dugay is going off. Okay, Maloney's back on. Dugay's off. 27 seconds to go. A big face off here. Dwight Foster's got it. He can shoot for the net if he wants from his position. Esposito looking to take it for the Rangers with an open net at the far end. A one goal lead for New York. On the draw, it is cross the line. 23 seconds to go. The Bruins get it back to the blue line. O'Reilly ahead to middle, and in front. Save! What a clutch save by Davidson, and these fans are going crazy. The play went into center, and look at the play up front. And the Bruins sneak through the middle, and Middleton makes the play, a beautiful play. Foster there. Up to Foster. 17 seconds to go. We've lost only 10. Face off on J.D.'s left side now. This time, Foster goes off. They'll put a different face off man out there because of the different angle. McTavish and Esposito. Open net, far end. Rangers are more concerned with the other one. Dave Maloney gets to it. Turns the corner to Vadney. He might be able to clear. And cannot. Ten seconds to go. In front. Cleared by J.D. Still in the rink. Five seconds to go. And Beck was hurt. Jim, he might have been hurt on the puck when it came off the back of the glass after J.D. hit it. He's, he's cut. Watch this. The puck goes up in the air behind Davidson. Davidson takes a swipe at the puck. It goes off the glass and comes out and hits. Back. And he's cut. He's going to the bench. He's going to the dressing room. We now have four seconds to go with the faceoff in the Rangers' zone. Barry Beck was opened up by that puck. There's blood on the ice. Four seconds to go. Rangers with a one goal lead. Referee wants to get things started. Going to the Ranger bench. There's not enough skaters out there for New York right now. Here they come. Esposito stays out there. Vadney stays out there. Maloney stays out there. Bruins had the face off in the Rangers end with four seconds to go. Big face off again. This time Dwight Foster's back on against Esposito. Don Maloney comes off the bench. Oh, the strategy here. Mostly just give the Rangers a little time to settle down. And Mauer goes off. Here comes the face-off. Four seconds to go. 
Rangers with a one goal lead. Rangers win it. Espo got it. Two seconds. One. It's over. Oh, the Rangers come up with a big victory. Two to one over Boston and even up to season series. Esposito with a clean win on the draw. Their final score is Rangers 2, Boston 1, the wrap-up in just a moment. <laughs>